Well, we were promised transparency on day one of the Biden White House, but as the press demands access to the unprecedented situation at the border, they continue to be denied. We'll always be honest and transparent with you about both the good news and the bad. If you all wanted to grant access to the press, couldn't you just tell DHS to do it? Again, we fully support transparency, and I would encourage you to talk to the Department of Homeland Security about any requests you have. We're working on providing footage so that the American public can see uh, the Border Patrol stations. The border is secure. The border is closed. We're working on providing footage. What a stunning statement right there. Senior writer for townhall.com, Julio Rosas, will be on the ground visiting the Texas border this week, and he joins me now. Let's start right there, Julio. There are reportedly very little uh, allowances for the press to get in there and see what's happening at the border. But don't worry, because the Biden administration is going to provide you some footage. But they're working on it, but they will eventually provide you some footage. You think that will satisfy your curiosity, Julio? Uh, no, and, and, and in fact, I was supposed to go uh, visit the Carrizo Springs uh, facility for unaccompanied minors, and it was all set up through Congressman Roy's office, and I was given the green light, and once we got there, we, we, we were starting to be processed to be let in. We were, had our temperature checked. We had uh, f a medical-grade uh, face mask be issued to us, and we're just waiting to get our COVID test because that's what the administration has been using as a pretext to bar press uh, is because of COVID restrictions. Uh, but then they found out we were members of the press and we were immediately denied and we were separated from Roy's party and we had to leave. And so it is kind of interesting that they are using COVID-19 as a pretext to keep press out. But it appears that members of Congress and their staff are still able to tour the facility. So let me see if I understand that correctly, Julio. You were part of a congressional delegation, a media member, part of the congressional delegation. You were carved out of the touring party reportedly or, or what they told you for COVID protective reasons, but then they let the congressional delegation go on. They were allowed to continue the tour, but the media were the ones that they had to protect from COVID pro problems. Right, and and look, it's it's pretty obvious why the administration doesn't want members of the press to uh, document for themselves what's happening in these facilities and and elsewhere along the border is just simply because this is a crisis. And what what makes it worse is that this is a self-inflicted crisis. Uh, this this didn't need to happen, but because of the open border rhetoric and policies that we've seen from this administration, it has incentivized uh, this massive surge. It's not the only reason why, but it is. A big reason, and I can say that I uh, just last October I was with Acting Commissioner Mark Morgan uh, doing a ride along with him, and so even in the age of COVID, ride alongs with Border Patrol is still possible, and yet that's not being allowed right now. So we said at the beginning of this segment, Julio, you're headed back to the border next week. This is potentially at least what you'll see in numbers. Here's the increase in adult quote encounters. That's the new term under the Biden administration, encounters up 188 percent, unaccompanied minors up 92 percent. What are you expecting to see, not just in the numbers, but with your own eyes next week? Well, uh, unfortunately, we're going to continue seeing uh, unaccompanied minors and, and family units because the, the, the Department of Homeland Security secretary has said that they're not going to deport uh, those types of groups uh, like they used to be like they used to. And so that, again, that's incentivizing uh, human trafficking among the most vulnerable groups, unaccompanied minors. I mean, the cartels aren't doing this out of the kindness of their hearts, and they take advantage of the people they traffic, especially the minors. And so uh, what I saw uh, uh, two weeks ago and what I expect to see this week is uh, mostly unaccompanied minors and, and family units. And that this is, like I said, this is a crisis. Yeah, and your ride along this coming week is with the Hidalgo County Constable, so you should get some access to see exactly what's happening down there. We'd love to talk to you afterwards, Julio. Thanks for giving us a preview this morning on Fox & Friends. Thank you. Take care.